Hello YouTube friends and welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. It's not going to be about the Chieftain or the Gladiator or the Ranger or the old house or the other old house. It's going to be about this. Ta-da! Now you guys know I've mentioned before, I have crappy internet out here in the country and it's been a struggle. I've tried three or four different devices trying to get something decent. Right now I'm having to use a little hotspot for the most part to get mediocre, but works enough internet, but then it's limited because it's a cell hotspot. It's 4G LTE. Uh, speed's not too bad, but it's limited. So we'll run that limit up real quick. Otherwise I've got 15 meg DSL if I'm lucky and seven something K up. So horrible. Starlink should change all that. So I thought I would do an open box. I haven't opened this box yet. Just came in, thought I'll do this, I'll do a video, and I'll open the box and let you guys see what it looks like, and you'll get to see me set it up. Uh, the first thing you have to do is you have the app on your phone, and you go out to where you think you want to install it, and uh, then you you scan the skies and it'll tell you, and here's the first run. So I had to move. Here's the second run. That's better. It says it would work, so that's what we're going to try. It comes with its own stand. Uh, eventually I will mount it, but hey, I just got it and I want to test it. I can't wait. So. I want to hook it up, set it in the spot out there I've picked that says that it should work. I'm going to go out in the rain and do this, and you guys are going to get to watch. But let's open the box. All right, let's get this thing open. Looking for the spot where it opens. Oof. A little heavy. Not awful, but a little heavy. Now we're talking. Let's see what we got in here. Ta da! You guys see that? What kind of view you guys have? Yeah, that should look good. All right. So, here's the first thing. It looks like a, it's like a container, but there's nothing in it. Look at that. Wouldn't that be disappointing? I guess whatever that would have been in there is not in there. So this is the, this is the dish and the stand. It's fairly simple as far as this goes. There's some instructions. There is the router. Okay. Now Knowing that this was coming, I was on the wait list and I got the email saying, hey, it's here. Uh, your time is here. Um, I ordered, the router does not have an ethernet jack on it. It has built-in Wi-Fi and they expect you to use their Wi-Fi. But if you have a mesh network like I have, you have to buy this little converter box, which I bought uh, in advance. It was Amazon one day shipping, so I got it real quick in anticipation for this dish coming, which was supposed to be here next week, but thank you, Elon Musk, for sending it to me early. So, yeah, this thing will... Not like that. And it pretty much stands straight up in the air, is my understanding. And there you have 
have it. So. Stick this over here. So what we're going to use so that we can hook this up to our mesh network here for Wi-Fi, this is also a Starlink SpaceX box. This thing gives it, it's an Ethernet plug. So this will give us the ability to hook to the mesh network. Mesh instructions. Yeah. I'm a network engineer, I do not need instructions. Plus I'm a man, it's against man law to read instructions. There it is. So what happens is, the cable coming from the dish, if you guys can see that, I know it's a long distance, it looks exactly like that. This plugs into this end. This plugs into the router. It supplies power to the dish so the dish can move and track the satellites. And then that Ethernet jack there plugs into your Wi-Fi, whether it's a Wi-Fi router or what, what have you. Since I have a mesh network, I don't want to use the Wi-Fi that's built into this. So let's get the dish outside. Uh, I'm going to put it in the location that I had picked out from the app, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm trying to find a place to set this. So, I know my beautiful bride had this laid out nicely with stuff, but this is the only place I can put it right now until I get to mount everything. There's one of the Wi-Fi mesh pieces. I'll have to swap that out with the base, but they're, they're exactly the same size. It's just that the base has Ethernet plugs on the back. So I set this here. Now what I did is I put the dish out here in the place where these people had a swimming pool before we bought the house right there. And that ended up being a good location. So as soon as it powers up, you know, that dish will start rotating. Join Wi-Fi. So join Wi-Fi would be the next thing that comes up. But, we, okay, now we're rotating. Let me get the camera and show you guys. So now, it's rotating, see? It's trying to find a, a, a satellite. Looks like it found one. So it stopped. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the Wi-Fi settings. Go to the Wi-Fi settings, and <laughs> I see something on there that says Stinky. I think Stinky is the one I'm looking for because it's full tower. Okay, it's going to connect. Stinky is connected. All right. So. Almost connected. There we are. We're connected. Now. Now let's see what else we got to do. Okay, it's booting. So, Starlink booting up. I tell you what, it really didn't take any time to find the satellite there. But I think I'm going to put it in a pole, on a pole out there. In fact, looking at it, I was going to take that basketball goal down that cemented into the ground. I bet you I could mount that on that basketball pole, put some conduit and run the cable down through the yard. This fencing I'm moving, so it's just to get us by so the dogs have a place. Then I'm going to redo all this out here, but I could bury that up under. I think I might even have a trencher 
and mount that on that pole. That'll be perfect because it's, you know, there's no obstructions really. Being this close to the house from there, it, you know, it could create a problem. Or that tree right there, that big pecan tree, or uh, that's a magnolia tree right there, there, and then that big tree is a pecan tree, or pecan as they call it out here. So. So there you have it guys, the installation of the SpaceX Starlink satellite internet. Man, I'm so excited to have this thing. You guys know what I've been through with my 15 meg uh, down and 700K up. Uh, it's been brutal. Now, you know I do have the, my five boxes. Um, and they're not bad. You know, I get 50, 75 meg down on them uh, most of the time. 30, 35 to 75. I know it's a wide range, but that's just the way it is. It's 4G LTE. Uh, and it's been okay, but you know, it has a data limit. That data limit, you know, you can't just use it like you use your home internet. So you have to be careful of it. And that's just another reason, although not the primary reason, but that I haven't uploaded a bunch of videos because I've got all of these challenges uh, and I just have too much going on, honestly. So 109 down and 23 up, is pretty darn good and it's still adjusting itself so i'll put the last little screen uh, up for you you know where it says it's got two more hours to go uh, so it's still finding its way but it's been flawless ever since it popped online so uh, i'm not going to complain about it at all uh, i'm so so thankful and happy that i've gotten that now so it's about eight o'clock now and I've got to get this into the computer. I got the rest of it edited. I just have to throw this last piece in and then it'll be to you, it'll be uploading to you guys. So I really do appreciate you guys and I hope to see you real soon. Take care.